again uh, and welcome back to Hot Air everybody. Uh, new instalments, uh, same faces really. Actually really? we've got a bit of an announcement about that haven't yeah. we? Uh, yeah. but we've got a few little sort of things to chat about about the show before we get on to the main sort of meat and two veg of, of uh, what we're on about this week. And um, one of them is, uh, or the first one we want to talk about really is is, is, is the show itself, um, right. this, this format really. And uh, we've been having a bit of a chat and we think that, um, well actually should I announce... Um, should I mention? Go on. Yeah. Uh, f- well, from this moment on, actually, Tony's done such a good job of uh, a better job than I have, actually. Um, and obviously, he's a font of all knowledge and with lots of uh, interesting stories, etc., etc. And I think it was, oh, well, it was definitely a good idea to invite sh- Tony onto the show permanently. So um, from now on, uh, myself and Tony will be doing this uh, on a fairly regular basis. I would That's say. The plan. Well, you yeah. had an idea about what. Um, Sort of one uh, show every week. I think maybe. a show every week makes sense. As long as you want to yeah. all see it, obviously. But um, welcome to the show, Tony. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm over the moon, to be honest with you, because Tony fills in a lot of uh, the insider knowledge, I suppose you could say, or you know, the industry industry knowledge that uh, myself as a as a retailer doesn't necessarily hear. So hopefully, between us, we'll get um, more balance more, view, maybe. more angles yeah. on, on on every story, or so, at least the gossip. Exactly, yeah, all the, all the juicy stuff that everybody wants to hear. Um, so uh, I hope everybody, uh, I, I, th- I think it'll be a really good thing for the channel, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, and obviously since then, me and Tony have been talking a little bit about um, the direction of the show, and uh, we think that what we're doing so far, people seem to really appreciate, and we thank you for that. Obviously, it's all down to the viewers. Um, but we want to expand it a little bit, don't we? Yeah, we want to bring some more features into it and that could make it a bit more entertaining for you. Yeah. For different yeah. different sort of segments as yeah. well. You know, we're, we're not just, a, it's not just hopefully about shooting really. Um, you know, we, we're, we're obviously connected to field sports a little bit and uh, I, I sort of think it'd be nice to bring some um, more different segments in. Uh, in fact, actually this, this morning we were even talking about some cooking, um, which uh, whether you want it or not, I don't know. In fact, actually, I'd love you um, to leave comments on on what you think we could do uh, as an extra. You know, if it's all about knife sharpening or um, uh, maintaining your your rifle or your kit, or you know, uh, about cooking what you might shoot, uh, about HFT or this that and the other, just 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 let us know in the comments below. We'd really appreciate it. I do read all. Well, we both read all we the do. comments, yes, don't we? Very uh, and we are trying to actually, re- yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're trying to reply to them all as well. Yeah. So um, you're going to make a big difference to this show. So we want you to guide us to uh, to to what you want and uh, want to see. So um, yeah, that's about it. Really, yes, it? exactly. So uh, so I hope you um, I hope you enjoy the show. We've got a few things to talk about. Uh, well, actually, um, do you want to talk about the new sponsor? Yes, we have a sponsor. I like the shooting talk to you. show has uh, kindly come up and sponsored the show. Our first sponsor, and we very much appreciate it. So obviously John Allison wasn't that upset about what we said about his show last week. No, no. And uh, he's come up and he's helping us out. So that's much appreciated, John. And it allows us to do more more videoing. Yes, it does. And expand the, the format. Of yeah, it. yeah. So, oh, up until yeah. now, we've been a little bit inconsistent, haven't we? Yes, um, yeah. uh, and, and we want some more consistency. We want you guys to sort of know that there's going to be something coming out every week for you. Uh, also, the nice thing is, is that... Um, this sponsorship doesn't really change anything. No, really? nothing at all. We're not taking any sponsorship from people who have who would have a vested interest in us being nice about them. We yeah. we 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 we, appre- we know that you appreciate the fact that we actually tend to say um, what we think, uh, whether it's good or bad. Uh, including probably you might have seen some of my uh, previous reviews where I've maybe not been overly kind to certain things and and I think that that's important because uh, when I was starting off shooting um, you know I wanted I wanted honesty I wanted to know what to buy because you sometimes you really don't know do you and we want to guide people in the right direction and not give them fake information uh, and and obviously if we're sponsored by a manufacturer that's that that could cause a conflict of interest in my opinion so we're not going to do that so that's one thing you need to take from this in that at the end of the day we you know um, Things cost money, as simple as that. Um, but uh, as long as we can get enough money from this sponsorship deal, which I'm sure uh, I'm sure it'll it'll help out a hell of a lot, uh, we'll be able to carry on and do the things that you want us to do. 
Uh, have you got anything else to say about it? No, the... I think that pretty much covers it. Does we it? are independent, Excellent. we are completely neutral, and some people will love us and some people will hate us, and that's the way it needs to well, be. Well, that's what the yeah. thumbs up and thumbs down buttons exactly. do. If, if, if yeah. you don't like what you, you see, um, we're very happy for you to give us a thumbs down. It would be appreciated if you gave us a thumbs down and gave us a little bit of a comment on why you didn't like what but we're it doing. it all counts as a hit. Yeah. Well, so I guess I, yeah, I, yeah, I guess I sort of I, I want to, I want the feedback. You know, I want to know what what, uh, what we're doing wrong, and what we're doing right. So anyway, uh, without further ado, I think we should get onto sort of more than meat and two veg of uh, right. this particular what's it. Yeah. So. Um, you, um, what are we doing next? Are we going well, to we had some feedback from uh, from our last show. So one yeah. of the things that people were talking about, for instance, I put, um, you know, that the show was a great success, and people say, "Did you go to the same show as me?" It was crammed. British Union show we're talking. So about. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wanted some data off that, so I rang the British Union show, which is how we ended up with sponsorship, and I actually asked them for some data. So I wanted some actual physical figures as to how the show went. You know, was it a sardine fest? Was it unsubscribed, oversubscribed? And, you know, this is an honest show, so I wanted honest answer and I got them. Mm -hmm. And basically, the show, uh, the stone, last Stony show was, uh, figures given was 26 to 27,000 people inside the show. Mm -hmm. um, this year, the, the official figure is 37,500. Okay, so that's so a that's good, good 10,000 up on last year's figures. The um, exhibitors were 30% up, so the show was uh, there were more exhibitors, 30% more exhibitors there this year mm -hmm. at, at the NEC than there was at Stonely. Which is interesting because uh, I went around the show as well and it didn't look that big. You know, with three halls, and I think we mentioned this, three halls open one, two, three, you could get to the bottom corner quite quickly. Mm -hmm. At Stonely, you couldn't because you were weaving round the halls, in the halls, out the halls, through the tents, past the toilets, turn left and there was an outdoor, so it was a long rambling show. But actually the ground space was considerably bigger and there were 30% more exhibitors. There are over 170 traders at the British Shooting Show this year. So uh, with the 37,500, with the 170 exhibitors, that makes it by far the British, biggest shooting show, indoor or outdoor, mm -hmm. um, for that kind of venue, by a mile. So it's clearly the place to be if you want to show your wares or if you want to go and have a look at them. But I, I did actually, I mean, obviously there were some comments on our last YouTube video yeah. where some people were unhappy basically with it. And, yeah. and you know, it seems to be it, it seems to be this overcrowding issue. Yeah, so now where we were, the air guns actually were a little bit thin on the ground. That with All the major manufacturers were there, but they were, it wasn't that huge on air guns. And I'd actually noticed that a few years at the British Union Show, when it was in, even when it was on its last year in Lincoln, in the tent, mm -hmm. I was resupplying a shop and taking a wheelbarrow around with guns and stuff like that. And I thought, where are all the air guns? Because it was just round full of scope manufacturers and vendors and shotguns and full bore rifles and stuff like that. I'm thinking, wow, and this is John Bertram then, you know, when he was alive and when he ran the British Shooting Show. Yeah. He had managed to attract just about, I mean, an amazing guy, and he managed to attract almost everybody into this hall. The, the air gun sector initially boycotted the show, I've got to say that, you know, they stayed were there, but everybody else went, oh no, you know, it's too new, we're not going to do it. And they didn't mm. go. So the first year, I think Day State and a few, one or two vendors, JLS and people were there, not many, not many others from the aircon sector. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they soon realised and started turning up at the future sh uh, following shows. But the early shows, it was quite clear to me that they'd managed to attract an awful lot of, um, you know, firearm people, shotgun people. Yeah. And when you go around the halls, that was really quite clear that the, you know, that there were big stands from the scope manufacturers, big stands from all the shotgun importers, most of the wholesalers were represented. So you had that going on. They were taking up large swathes of this hall. Mm. And I think that's what most people came to see. So um, those parts in the middle of the hall were just ram-packed. They were really, you couldn't move. And it was sardine fest. Mm -hmm. At the peripheries, you know, where you've got the soft air and where you've got the air guns and the cafeteria, and you, they, it was thinner. Mm -hmm. the, the, down the end where the air guns were, where, where we were, there was a range which was noisy, so people sort of kept away from that. And then there were the, the main ranges for the air guns, which takes up a fair amount of real estate, so there was a bit of open space there. Mm -hmm. But down the main bit, it was packed. So I asked him about that, and he said, uh, we're going to have another two halls next year. Right, OK. But he did actually say that uh, it's cost a small personal fortune to run it in the hall. So it's not been all profit because it looks like that. You've got 30% more people exhibiting. Mm. You've got, what, 20, 15% more um, 
people attending the apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and um, so you think, and they were crammed in. So you, it looks like it from a commercial angle, like, oh, wow, loads of money. But he's had to buy new infrastructure, new shell schemes. He's had to invest in the show for mm -hmm. the first year. I think it's a five-year plan. So it will be, he'll have more next year, but they're not making the money. It's, you know, it's, it's all investment. Mm -hmm. But the long-term prognosis for that show is pretty good isn't mm -hmm. it? yeah as long yeah. as everything doesn't get banned we'll be all so right. i mean obviously yeah. if they take care of the, some of the uh, some of the quibbles that i saw yeah you know in the comments um we'll have a better show next year that's the plan like. i think that's his plan and, that's, I, and it looks like it I, I mean it's to be honest with you it sounds very positive yeah. um like i say i totally said on on the on well, camera know, last time i didn't yeah. go I, yeah. I, I bloody wish i had yeah, you had and we'll be nice. going to the next one well we'll be there with a camera next year without a doubt yeah but the uh the other thing is of course that the already some of the manufacturers have come back and i I know from my network that the manufacturers were pretty impressed with it and Good. so um, I know that some it's at least two Matt Ruag and I'm sure they won't mind me mentioning and um, the other one I heard was Armex or Humorex, Humorex I think are taking a double size stand next year and it was already vast this year so you, they're, they're looking for double stand spaces next year so we're now getting into the realms of you know the German exhibition size stands so you know, it's going to be pretty. Well, next year we'll be there, we'll be there. Um, and, and yeah. and you know that'll be that'll be interesting yeah. and exciting. We'll and prove that we have legs and we can uh, stand up and we'll go out and see the world. Yes, yeah. that we actually wear pants underneath <laughs> this. Um, right. Okay. Well, that's the that's the BSS sorted out, which is uh, quite interesting. Uh, next, actually, what we've got next is something. Um, also to do with media and stuff yeah, like that. We're all the topic, all the, really. Oh God, um, yeah, not it, half. You know, here we are in sort of tail end of February 2018, and uh, just before we came on air, there was a huge flurry of all YouTube airgun channels all going down. Yep. Well, not all. Well, not well, all. What, what was really weird, I noticed that didn't. I, I mean, I didn't see a pattern to it. There was big. There was small. Um, I, I mean. I tell you what. Uh, obviously, there'll be probably some people watching this that don't really even know what. what yeah, what's well, what been going happened on, so. was on Thursday. I think it was Thursday last week. Uh, all of a sudden, um, channels started to disappear, and uh, the big one from from my point of view was Air Guns Arizona. Yeah, the whole site just dissolved, gone, gone, the lot, um, and it's still down. Um, and uh, Pyramid Air, a big big organisation, um, Air Gun Exploration, um, Matt Dubber's um, hunting site in South Africa, mm -hmm. um, they all just were taken off by YouTube. Mm -hmm. So they all went down and this started, the people who hadn't gone down started to panic um, and some of the manufacturers started to disappear as yeah. well and they lost sites. Now if they backed up they can reinstall once their site is restored, if it ever gets restored, but if they haven't backed up and some of these videos are, you know, they're huge file sizes, it takes if you've got a really good broadband connection, it will take a couple of hours or more to upload one of these videos. Mm -hmm. So if you've had 200 videos go down, mm, a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work. That's if you've got them. You know, some of these videos go back years, so they may or may not have them. So uh, an awful lot of historic air gun stuff has gone off. Now, YouTube has been changing it, playing with its formats for years, and in the last two years, there's been a real buzz in so much as, you know, you, I can remember doing videos years ago on something like the Panther, you know, and I'd be there. And people would come up to me two, three years later and say, mm. oh, I watched you yesterday on yep. that. Yep. That doesn't happen anymore because YouTube tends to keep new content to the front, more like Facebook. See, so Facebook, mm. you can create a video and two weeks later you can't find it mm. because it's, it's gone off. YouTube was always the case where you could make a video one year and be seen ten years time, five years time, and that has changed. They're following uh, their algorithms are changing and they're moving towards a more of a Facebook. Maybe they see big threat from Facebook, so they change their algorithms to mean that it's the latest content that is being promoted. And the old stuff you kind of have to go and search for mm. in the video channels, and it's always at the bottom. Yeah. So you don't get so much of that. The old stuff is not flagged up so much. Um, well, so that's probably all gone. Quite a lot of that's been lost. Now, some channels were hit and some channels weren't. Mm. And it was very interesting, like our little channel wasn't, um, but um, yeah. and uh, other, sh other people basically withdrew their content early mm. to save that's disappointment. Right. Yeah. And they, yeah. um, for instance, Ted basically made his all private viewing, so it was still there, but nobody could see it yeah. until his channel was saved. And a couple of others did the same thing. So. Mm. Some of either wiser or knowledgeable or people who knew what was going on were, took some action to stop it. Others were just completely caught out. Yeah. 
there's a huge undercurrent buzz that this has been created by somebody, um, not necessary because originally they thought it was students in Miami doing something, you know, against the gun trade, mm. um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So there's a huge buzz at the moment about is it, is this one, I mean, obviously, yeah. uh, firearm sites have been affected as well. Not really, but, but, but they've been affected, uh, they had been affected prior to this because there was something going on to take down some firearm sites, but it was nothing to do with what happened. So, the, so it, it's basically, it's, it's, Air guns. It's air guns, yeah. And that was it, because originally we went, oh, this is part of the, this is the, the backlash to the Miami shooting. Yeah. Air rifle, AR, AR-15, you know, there you are, that's your answer. They, they, they've searched for everything with an AR. The, the, the algorithm's gone wrong. Gone wrong, yeah. yeah. And they've just taken it off. And then you're like, well, I'm just watching 15 videos on an AR-15, so that's not happening. I know. That's, and all the big yeah. gun channels, which, you know, we all watch, yeah. you know, um, you know, Hickok 45, uh, forgotten weapons. I think Hickok, still got running. Hickok got taken off, but he got reinstated, didn't right. he? Right. I think within a day. Right. Okay. Well, so he got hit. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hard to but be offended again by him, isn't it? it you just see it. it yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, the, I, I woke up this morning and, and read that uh, quite a few people have been reinstated, but they've been demonetized. As yeah. in the, the, so, in other words, you know, YouTube content creators are not going to make any 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 well, revenue they weren't anyway. Were they? I mean, back in the day, they were making huge amounts of money from monetizing videos and when they decided that air guns or guns would be adult content um, you could have it but it gets demonetized so basically if you're doing YouTube stuff you're not making any money out of YouTube or not much you're making money out of your sponsors uh, or some people or or um, you know by the patreon system which is generally how they make money on Patreon. yeah, yeah. Well, not but they but other people do and and you also get money from sponsors and of course the sponsors are sad because the sponsors want something in return, mm. having just been sponsored. But but we're not doing that. But other people have to do that because they have to have an income. You know, if you're if you're giving up a daytime job, you've got to have some income, and they get it. And of course, losing the channel means the sponsors' money is going to dry up immediately. So that goes. But Plus, but the nice thing is, is that as from this morning, it looks like things are starting to to return to normal. Yeah, you've got a lot of inconvenience for, for for certain channels. A lot of hassle stuff. Some people started to switch to Vimeo, which is a, an alternative channel. Yeah, not really that suitable, but it's something, isn't it? Mm. So they've got that going on as well. And some people are down because I don't know what they're going to do if they're going to switch to Vimeo and switch back, or maybe they had a plan to switch to Vimeo in the first place, and this is just. I, I mean, for, from my point of view, I see that like sooner or later we're going to have to have a gun tube because you know. But I, YouTube I, is so big. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, does that? You don't think that sooner or later that they're, they're, they're going to remove? But then Facebook videos. might sooner or later. I think from Facebook sooner mm -hmm. than and YouTube perhaps. And well, uh, people are people are still being put into Facebook prison, aren't they, for for ridiculous posts? Absolutely. On the uh, you know, ultimately in the world, everything will be regulated and everything will be controlled. And if it's not mainstream, it will be banned because that's you know, why would you be concerned about something that you don't do? That's generally how people outside of a hobby think. Mm -hmm. So you know, yeah, it's, there's always that pessimism. But I'd like to think that YouTube has got a few more years left. There's an awful lot of gun content on there, and a lot of people. A lot, lot, yeah. It'd be yeah. a shame to lose it once. Yeah, it, definitely. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's that's a little bit about YouTube. Um, what we'll do now, we'll uh, we'll have a quick break for a brew, yep, and, uh, <laughs> as usual, uh, and we're back soon. And we're going to show you a couple of new. Yeah, we have the text. product section. We have yeah. the product set. Yeah, we're, 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 now, <laughs> must stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to be showing you uh, uh, one of the new Day States, and also as well, we've got uh, one of the new uh, Chiapa Faz rifles to show you, which is quite interesting. So, uh, hope to see you shortly.